here at 10 a.m. this morning and then we had to take a shuttle to Auburn and it is about 3 o'clock now so we got here at about 1 o'clock central time there's a time change between Atlanta and Auburn so I am on my way to the Institute to check out the library so can't wait to show you guys and I'll be trying to vlog this week basically just a chance for us to walk around Mises Institute in Auburn and pick out some amazing books to buy and to take home for free just for being here. I got to see people speak at the opening ceremonies that I've admired for a long time and get us pumped for the first official day tomorrow and I can't wait so hopefully I'm gonna get to share a lot of that with you guys. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can, but for now, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. today about just the basics of Austrian economics. I'm super excited to be delving into this stuff about 11 o'clock and I just got back to my dorm. One of the awesome things aside from the lectures with these kind of events is the awesome conversations that you'll have with other students attending this kind of stuff. And you get to talk to people how you want to talk to everyone about this kind of stuff, deep philosophical stuff and silly stuff, hypothetical situations about theories and stuff like that that you don't get to talk about normally. And it's nice to be with, you know, your tribe, sort of, for a week. So we also heard Judge Napolitano give a speech tonight, which I've seen him speak before. It's always a pleasure. He always gets me really ready to die in a bloody revolution again. So that's always nice. You always get so fired up after hearing him talk. He's so passionate and he really has a way about talking about things as, you know, what people would consider dense about, like, constitutional law and making it 
seem, you know, I mean, it is very important and very exciting, but not to most people. And I really feel like he has the ability to speak about things in a way that gets you excited about them, no matter what. And you really feel the intensity and the excitement. And he's just a fantastic speaker. And I always enjoy seeing him. And it's going to be really cool to get the chance to pick his brain this week as we see him walking around with all the other professors, as it's been fun to do with everyone else. We also had a chat with Dr. Tom Woods in a circle, kind of like a little chat about uh, foreign policy and current events and what he thinks about that kind of stuff. That's amazing. I love how approachable everyone is here. Not that I thought that people wouldn't be, but, you know, I think in a lot of other political movements, you kind of idealize these people and make them mythical figures, and they're just people. They're just fun to talk to, and everyone here has been amazing so far that I've talked to, so... I'm really excited to get to know the other professors here and hear them speak, so I'm going to head to bed, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll keep uh, vlogging uh, all about the Institute and my experience here, and I'm already super excited, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So that was the last of my vlogging, and this is going to sound like a cop-out, but I honestly only vlogged those two short days because I was overwhelmed. I'd always been told that Mises University was amazing and that I needed to go, and I wanted to attend Mises University for years, but I don't think I understood the full impact of how incredible it was. I mentioned this in my vlogs a little bit, but I've never been to any conference related to libertarianism or economics where you are truly 100% free to speak your mind. These truly were my people and I had an amazing time and there were people there from 129 different countries that I got a chance to talk about Austrian economics and libertarianism with and it is one of the most cool and just life-changing experiences that I've ever had. That sounds so incredibly cheesy, but I couldn't even vlog all week, so I've inserted all of these pictures for you all so you can see how amazing everyone is, all the professors talking to students, everyone laughing and just having an amazing time. And if you haven't been to Mises University, I highly encourage you to go. You can get a student scholarship. If you don't, it is a bit expensive, but it's completely worth it. And if you follow me on Twitter, you've been seeing my tweets all of this past week, but I just couldn't stop talking about it. And I'm never going to stop talking about it. And I will be attending next year because this was truly one of the most amazing weeks. They were using the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag best week ever. And boy, they were not joking. I'm really sorry that I couldn't vlog more for you guys, but I hope that all of these pictures and the short vlogs and videos that I did is enough for you to understand how amazing this was for me, and I will definitely be talking about this for a long time to come, and the friends that I've made this past week are hopefully going to stick with me for a long time, and that's amazing. I thanked Lou Rockwell for creating the Mises Institute while I was there and he just looked at me and he said doesn't it just feel how college and education is supposed to feel and he's right this is how education and being educated is supposed to feel it's supposed to feel like a welcoming environment where you can speak your mind and say whatever you want and truly learn and I felt like I've truly learned this week in July and I hope that you've all enjoyed me sharing it with you all.